5G phones, are they worth waiting for? Well, it depends. For such a simple question, the answer is quite a bit more complicated than a simple yes or no. So let's dig right in. Hey guys, Ash here from FTJ by C4 Retech and let's get started. FTJ is new and needs your love, so go on, ring that damn bell. So before we get talking about 5G phones, let me first tell you guys why 5G is important. Thanks to Reliance Geo, almost every one of us in India have access to 4G LTE on our smartphones. And thanks to the affordable data packs, almost everyone is using 4G to access internet on a daily basis. In a thickly populated country like India, this leads to saturation of bandwidth. Now what exactly is that? Imagine the network to be like a road, a highway. Now, the more the vehicles on the road, the slower the traffic moves. So basically, we have so many people accessing the 4G network now that the speeds have fallen. This is the problem that 5G is looking to solve. Sounds great, right? Who doesn't want faster data speeds? But there are a few problems. Pretty big problems. The first one is price. As it is with any new technology, including 5G in a phone, makes it expensive. How much more money are we talking about here? Well, by OnePlus estimates, 5G should increase the price of a device by about $200, about 15,000 rupees. Which basically means for now 5G will be restricted to only the premium category. Even budget flagships, if they can be called that like the OnePlus 6, will be skipping on the features for now. The S10 II, despite coming with a Snapdragon 855, is not gonna have 5G capabilities in every variant. So right now, waiting for a 5G device doesn't really seem to be a good idea especially if you're looking at the sub 40 to 50k segment. There's little chance we'd find a phone in that price range with 5G in 2019 at least. Now let's assume that you do have the money to spend and you do get your hands on one of these 5G devices. Well, there is a very good chance that you might have to import these phones from outside India and as 5G has to deal with multiple bands in multiple countries, it is very likely that a 5G device from US or China might not work in India. Yep, so if you've been eyeing that Mi Mix 3 with the 855 and 5G that is supposed to drop pretty soon, you might have to kiss that dream goodbye. However, India is a pretty important market and I would expect that at least a few companies will launch their variant with 5G in India. But here's where the third major hurdle comes in. Even if you do get a 5G device that is specifically made to work with Indian 5G networks, there is a very slim chance that you would get to use it extensively. 4G rollouts are just beginning to spread and even today when you travel across cities, you lose 4G connectivity and get bumped down to 3G or even 2G speeds at times. How many times has that happened to you? Every time I'm on a train or a bus traveling, I end up noticing it. Let me know if you've noticed it too in the comments below. For 5G, I'd expect we might see the rollout happening sometime in late 2019, but even that would be very restricted, probably just to some metro cities. And the final reason not to get a 5G phone is that this is the first generation of these devices. Even Qualcomm, the leading chip manufacturer, is selling their 5G modems as an add-on and it is not integrated into their flagship 855 SoC itself. I expect that by mid to late 2020, we would begin to see more affordable 5G phones and have a clearer picture of 5G rollouts in India as well. And as with the first generation 4G phones, expect the first generation 5G phones to have bad battery life. Even Samsung's rumored 5G S10 and S10 Plus are supposed to be packing in higher capacity batteries to combat this particular issue. So are 5G phones worth the wait? If you're in India, then definitely not. If you're somewhere else in the world, like maybe a part of the US where there is great Verizon coverage, then you might want to give 5G a shot. But do be warned, the experience might not be as life-changing as smartphone manufacturers and telecom providers will have you believe. If you are satisfied with your internet speeds, then my advice would be to hold on to your horses and let the technology mature a little bit, you know, before you actually buy into it. So that's pretty much it for our first real FTJ video thoughts in the comments subscribe if you haven't yet and ring that bell please till next time my name is ash you've been watching ftg for retech and i'll catch you in the next one ciao